I need probably a good 20 of these in total. Probably from here. So because I'd save less and R1 will be 1, so we'll turn it on. If R0 is great and 60, R1 will be 0, so we'll turn it off. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK and we are back in Station Ears. Since our last episode, I've uh, made a few changes again. I've opened this area up. Uh, previously it was all walled off. Pressure in here is now 54 kPa. I just moved my hydroponics over here to get a bit more sunshine. I moved the storage container here and split it into two. I moved everything across. That's about it really. I put the extra space in here, the extra foundation in here and the walls to seal all this off. What I want to do now is set up a storage tank for water because I'm going to have my hydroponics running down here in the sunshine, so we obviously get the sunshine. And they will be, be fed with a, quite a constant supply of water. Currently this does not have enough storage for what I want, so I'm just going to stick a, a storage tank in here. That will hold the bulk of the rest of the water. These portable tank connectors can now be used for both fluid and gas. Previously had one for fluid, one for gas. Now they are combined. Which makes life a little bit easier. I guess you just need to print one of them now. So I'm just going to stick this probably... I don't want to interfere with the vent there. So just stick it there. There should be enough space there. Yeah, yeah that looks okay. Will I have enough pipes so? though? That might be the question. No, probably is not. So bear with me a moment while I move. Actually, one, two, one, two, three. No, I won't. I'm not poked over here, is it? No, look at my pipes. No, I didn't see any. Okay, so I just need to move this over a little bit. Let's get rid of for the moment. Don't need on me. So there, that should be close enough. If I now try and run the pipes in, we shall see. And there we go, we've got plenty of pipes. I'm just going to grab my blue paint, which is over here somewhere. And swap those out. Paint that blue. Paint that blue. I'm not going to extend this pipe outside just for now because when you put ice in here, what is the gas given off is nitrogen. So I'll just let nitrogen slowly build up in here and build pressure up as I'm melting ice into water. So that's a useful way of doing it. Once the pressure gets high enough, I can extend that pipe outside just to bleed off the rest of the nitrogen. Oh, I can capture another tank. I may put another tank there for capturing the gas. Because the nitrogen will be used later on for nitrous oxide, which is a very good oxidizing agent for the rocket. Not necessary. Right, where did I put my tank? There it is. So now I just want to build my tank on that. Just dump it round about where on top of it, and if it's got a box around it, you can use a spanner, and that will connect it. So that is now connected to there. And we should see if we've got any fluid in here. Liquid volume 20 litres, capacity 790 litres, so that's great. So I think I have some water on me still. I no, have three. <laughs> okay, I've got three water on me. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. Okay, so I will have to go and mine some water at some point, but now I've got pipe work in so I can start running hydroponics trays down here. I want that back. Take that back. Where do I put that in my backpack? The other thing I want to do quickly is add more solar panels. No, nope, that button there. Seeing as I made my nice shiny new airlock, I better use it. I want to add some additional heavy duty. Let's make sure the dual. No, single, sorry, that way, so the single is the power and data are on the same connection. Dual is power is one side, data is the other, so you can segregate them. But I just want them like this for the moment. I've got two of them, so I'll put both of them down. I need to weld the glass onto them. 
and it's five plus per solar panel, heavy solar panel. The lightweight one, those ones, just take one glass. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I'll maybe careful, maybe blowing some power cables on to care for you. You can have about ten solar panels on this light cabling. If it becomes a problem, I'll just rip, whip some of the very basic flat panels out. No, I need my wire cutters. So I just made some of these bits offline. You know how to make these. You've seen me do it before, so I'm not going to bore you with how to make all these items. So these should now swing around and be pointing, ready for the sun coming up in the morning to the east. What are those ones doing? Uh, I've got a funny feeling these are going to screw up again and we point in the wrong direction. I've had issues where when I reload the game in, they're 180 degrees out. Anyway, we'll leave it, see what happens. If that, it does happen, I'm going to change all this IO gubbins here for a uh, IC. Right, so that's our additional solar panels up there. So now I need some additional piping. Um, where's my... Oops. Pipe bed, there's some pipe. I don't need a huge amount of these, I should probably do because I'm only need to get the pipe to the first hydroponics. Oh, did I have a spell? 20 grams of iron. Do I have any more iron on me? Oh, that doesn't look like it. Do I have any in this printer? No. Where does that put all that iron? I bet I put it in here, didn't I? Iron 50 grams, that's not a huge amount. 38 grams. Okay, so bear with me, I need to go mining quickly. And welcome back. I've just been and mined about 300 grams of iron, 100 grams of coal, so I can make some steel as well. Let's turn that off, turn my jetpack off. So I just make, make sure I had some coal on me, just in case, and also if my power battery, yeah, my batteries are running really low. So what I'm going to do is quickly just dump some coal in there, and that will quickly recharge my battery. I, in the previous episode, I told you I dumped all the gas in here. Um, in between episodes, I've actually recharged it again. So there is some now hot gas back in here. Close that one. So I should be able to. Yeah, battery's charging. Which are they pointing? Oh, they are pointing the wrong way, I think. Good, good. Um, so I should be able to just quickly smell some iron. Let's do 150. trays, whatever you want to call them. I need probably a good 20 of these in total, which will be, that will use up the 100 grams, that iron. So we need 5 grams each. Power low. Oh, another 10 grams each. Okay, so I'm like restricted in how many I can build. And only stacking fives. I forgot about that. 
located two more. Let's turn it off for now. How are we doing battery wise? Nearly fully charged and solar panels. Yeah, it's got good good stuff. So hydroponics, pots, trays, whatever you want to call them. How do I want them? I want probably from here. If I can get, if need be, I can put a grow light here. which will provide it with the light in the night. But a lot of plants, not all the plants to be honest, don't like being in light all the time. They need a dark cycle. So you've actually got to turn the lights off uh, to make sure they get that dark cycle as well. So I should have got some water ice while I was out there, shouldn't I? A bit late now, I'll go and do it again. Offline. When, um, off camera, sorry. That's what we need. So that's that. Stick those back in there for now. Don't need to hold up to them. So what's the temperature in here? The temperature is 26 degrees. Pressure is 54 kPa. So that should be good enough for most things. Oops. So let's see, where's our tomatoes? Do I have tomatoes here anyway? Soybeans, we need soybeans. To make soup you need soybean, that's pumpkin, we can make pumpkin soup. Rice, fennel, or fern, sorry. Corn we could use, wheat seeds, potato seeds. We don't. That's unusual, no, we have tomato seeds. Well, I can deal with deal with corn seeds, corn or tomato. I just find oh, I've got no tomato seeds, but I do get a grow light. Well, that's new. So they've obviously changed some things about since uh, last time I played this. Like, so you used to have tomato, you used to get a grow light. Now you never used to get a grow light. You had to make one. Oh, now the chickens' eggs. I don't bother with them. They just end up with chickens running around everywhere, laying eggs all over the place. Okay, so corn. Let's just put a couple of corn down for now. And same with the soybeans. These can go back in here just for safekeeping. What else we got? Potato. I've got two potato seeds there. Potatoes are always good. I have potatoes grown, so I'll uh, drop them. How they do, by the way. Are oh, we doing water? 10 litres? Moderately well towards fruiting. It's got a grow light. I think it would probably need to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so about there, I believe. Then run the cabling in somehow. Um, Keeping round and up. Might be a better way of doing it, don't know. How much cable have I got? Me 14, I'm probably going to more cables. Electronics printer, there you are. Cable coil. Housing. 
I'll put a chip in here to control the grow, grow light. Hydration critical. It's not critical, it's only 19% of your weight. I see. Gold. I've got gold. Everything for that. I do, but I can't do it well. Good. I don't need the dots on me. Oh, I've got that. I've got torrents to do. Stop, stop. Didn't mean to pick that up. Don't need that on me. Oh, I've got too many of these. <laughs> don't need all these. A stupid thing to do. What a waste. Right, plant analyzer. What I wanted was here was a pad, no tablet. What do you call them? And a tablet. That's what I want here. No, must be on here. So, why did I build this tablet? Because I've now put in a plant analyzer cartridge. And what you can do with that is you can check on a healthier plant. So, turn it on, find a bit of plant. Growing efficiency 94%, breathing efficiency 100%, temperature efficiency 100%, min ideal temperature 20 degrees C, and we are currently at 26. It says 27 there. Max ideal temperature 30, so it's on between, stay between 20 and 30. Temperature wise, it's fine. Pressure's 51 to 99, so it's on with 54, so that's fine. Light efficiency 96. Light intensity currently 0 because it's at night. No illumination stress is 4%, which is good. Light efficiency norm. Darkness deficiency norm. Hydration is 100%. Carbon dioxide requires 1%, currently 76.7. So you get a uh, the carbon dioxide will go down as the plants grow. Uh, nitrogen required 1%, it's currently 3.68, which is why we always don't have that there, so we get nitrogen coming out. Uh, volatiles uh, limits are 997 9, 9, pascal, so less than 1 kilopascal, and less than 1 pollutant. Um, or more than that, and it will poison the plant. So they'll be low that, so it's all good. And this will just stay in here for now. And I better sort of my water. Again. Oxygen critical. Yes, 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 go on. Can I open my oxygen vent? And something I don't say I can actually. No, I've gone. What I can do is take that. And open it. That'll increase the pressure slightly. That will also increase the oxygen content in here. So that's up to 22.3%. Some small amount of pollutants. So let's just. Do you have a battery in here? I can't remember. Yes, but he's flat. Oh, there we go. 
Um, so yeah, so there's all hydroponics and plants growing. The atmosphere in here is good for the plants, we've checked that. Now we need to run in some cabling power line there. I can't run it that way. And out to here. And we've got left nine. It's frustrating. Okay, I can straight across there. Yeah, so that line there is for the solar cells. I don't want to connect it to that line. I can't cross it with another cable. I have the um, high power cable coming down from the solar pumps along here, which is why I couldn't go across. So if I had to run down the floor and around to get around those connections. thriving so they're growing now it's good that's what I wanted but the problem is that would just stand forever now so I need to work out how to turn that off when I don't want it on because that will just stress the plants and being in light all the time and what I can do is put the sensor up Another daylight sensor up to check the angle of the sun so it only stays on during uh, certain angles of the sun. Can I sensor in there? Sensor kit. I could mount it. I'm not sure if it works in stores or not. Let's check, so curiosity. I use one cable which is dumped in there and I sorted it out with that one. Stupid boy. Right, what's that give us? Horizontal. Or to vertical. So we want to go off when the vertical is a above 180, I believe. Oh no, so it hits 180 and it goes back down again. Okay, so we want to go off when it's... So if we say go off at below 60, because it'll go from 0 to 180 back to 0. So 60 is when the sun's right underneath the planet almost. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, and that is... Grow daylight center. And don't really need to name that. Let's see if I find something to put my IC. Sync up. One thing. I think I'm 
put my IC here. Quickly connect that in. some programming, a bit more programming. Hopefully this one will be a bit easier. That is horizontal. So, edit. Clear. A yes. Sensor. DL sensor. DL sensor D0. Don't need the alias of light because I can use a batch save. I'll say batch, which means it'll just turn off on or on any of the grow lights on the same network. So main load load all zero with DL sensor. Hunger caution. Vertical. See what I want to do is great check greater than. So it's greater than. SLN SLT is save larger than. Greater equals one. So sorry, less. So how do we less than? If A is less than B, otherwise zero. Right, so it's save less than if A, so A is less than B, so if all zero is less than sorry sixty then all one. Which will say what I'm doing here, I believe this is right, we'll just check the function again. A. Nope, got that wrong. So R1. Right, so what this is saying is save to R1 if. Need these the other way around now. Power low. Oh, shut up. So. Load the vertical reading from the center. Save to R1. It will be 1 if R0 is less than 60. Or 1 if R0 is less than 60. Now, save batch. I need 2. To grow light. Grow light. I need to copy that. Paste it there, there. R1. So if. On. Oh. On. R1. So save to that batch, which is just grow light, to the on function R1. So if R if it's R0. Waste time caution. Shut up. If R0 is less than 60, it's because that's save less and R1 will be 1, so we'll turn it on. If R0 is greater than 60, R1 will be 0, so we'll turn it off. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. Export. And now I've just got to set. Grow light sensor. Yeah, no, that was a grow light sensor. That's it. So why are you off? Why are you off? You meant to be on. I 
it's horizontal. Vertical, sorry, 72, 71. Seventy. So we'll see what happens when that drop below sixty. That should go off. That was just off because I've been messing around with the figures for it. So now I've turned it on. It will stay on. It'll act as it turned it off. And that will come back on by itself. He says, hopefully. Hmm. We will see. Time will tell. In the meantime, I'm going to go and mine some water ice. Right, the water ice mined. Let's turn our glasses off. We enter our building. So, what are. Vertical 53. Um, okay. I got the calculation around the wrong way. Vertical 71, so it's gone off. Let's see what happens when it's night, it should come on. Anyway, dump some love in there. Let's see how we're off between 60 and below. I kind of got set 90, so it should be off below 90 and below. this. 12 litres. And that's a nitrogen coming out of there that you can see the gas. That's not going up very fast is it? Thirteen litres. Oh, it is good. There we go. Just not as quick as I hope. Right, what are we at here? Eighty-nine. Keep an eye on the light. Is it going to come on? Are you going to come on? No. Should probably be on the outside as well. Mm. Don't like when things don't work. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Vertical, 34. Is that light on on? Oh no, no, yes it is, but I need to reset that. So you want to be rename DL, DL, DL. Yeah, grow, sorry, grow. Physics. 
I sort of thought of the outside door or something like that. Um, they like grow sensor. Oh, that probably I can't read what it is now, can I? Oh, yeah, I can't just do it out the window. Vertical is 20, 19, 18. Right, let's try another way. I should have done your name that, I know what it is. You come back here. So what's failing? Line four. What's on line four? Load R zero. DL sensor vertical. DL sensor vertical. It's all good. It's all. Oh God. Oh. Probably that that's doing it. I'm not winning any clock cycles. It, it confuses the shit out of it. It's just got stuck in a loop. Current flashing an error. Error unknown at line 5. Okay, it could be because I named it the same thing. Let's just redo it. Daylight, if that's it. Yeah, just because I'd renamed that same thing, it confused it as well. So, what we set to now, I can't remember. What is set to? Sun is up. Vertical is 30. 31. So that must be degrees above the horizon, so that's zero. So that'll be 180. Waste time critical. So as I was saying, that's zero, that is 180, and it goes to zero again. So I want to come on at less than 30. If you want to say it's like 45. So I'll turn the grow light on there. Stay on, stay on, stay on, turn off. Come back on there. I could set it to 90. Air tank low. set at. So that should come on when it gets to 90 when the sun's overhead. Stay on till it's directly below us. Let's just see what happens. What are we at? Stick my head out the window. I love if you can do that. Okay, let's just sit and wait. 
What are we at? 72. Yeah, 90 would be good. That means it's off about a quarter of a turn. Okay, we're at 80. Of course, I could have always made this easier by, by just going, say, greater than SGR, I think it is. SGR. SGT, even. Say, greater than 1 if A is greater than B. Yeah. 89, so if this works it should come on turn my light off. Waste my battery. Why aren't you coming on? Because you are now 95. worked that time because it's greater than 90. Mm. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's just going to work now. I'll just leave it like that for now and just I'll keep trying. I'm going to make sure that the night, part of the night cycle goes off and it will currently do that. Sorry, it's probably been really confusing for everybody and confusing for me. Just couldn't get my head around it. It's been one of those weeks. How are we doing pressure? And how are we doing our plants? This will create two potatoes. I want some seed potatoes. These are thriving towards fruiting. Our corn is thriving towards fruiting. And our potatoes are thriving towards seeding. Good. Right guys, thank you for watching. Sorry if that was a bit of confusing around that, it sometimes can be. But that light should work now. What we need is a light to be off about half the night so that the plants get a chance to rest during the dark period. If you don't, it overstresses Power them low. and they don't grow properly. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Please give me a thumbs up. It all helps. This is Dragonfly Gamer wishing you a good night.